So I've been looking at this for quite a bit now, and it says, what is your pet beef about Rocket League esports? This could be a certain rule, something mods do, recurring popular posts and comments, certain community attitudes, certain groups of users and others. Don't be a dick, don't be overly rude. Well, I'm about to be. LOL, OMG, wow, sweep, choke, sucks, retire. I don't mind that. It's just, it's like the kids in the Twitch chat, bro. In fact, that's one of my favorite things. That's one of my favorite things when they just say, like, insert the whoever just had a bad game, one bad game, and it's instantly retire or your dog shit or your ass. Like, I love that, bro. I, like, I mean, maybe for, I don't know, like the casual viewers, I guess is what I would call them. Or the, the soft viewers? Are you soft for not liking this? I, I'm using the wrong words. Like, if you if you don't like that in the Twitch chat, whatever. That's fine. I'm just, I just, I do like it. Took me a while to spit that one out, but let's keep going. The obsession with minor regions and especially Mina. Yeah. In, in the past, it was a lot worse. Now Sam's getting recognition though. And uh, even Japan or, or not Japan, APAC. But uh, Mina in the past before, oh man, everyone was sucking their whatever. It, it was bad. Like literally everybody was me riding them. And I... I can't lie, I, I was there too. I really liked them, but I realized like everybody wanted them to win. So I was just like, man, I can't like them that much anymore. There's no stacks flare, stacks. Bro, stacks is the GOAT. Get that man casting every single game from now on. I used to meme stacks for some reason, not for some reason, but like he, he just like, the way he casts games, it's just like, it's like slow, he, he does it like, for, an, for a long time, like he'll cast for like a whole minute and then the other caster gets 20 seconds, then he'll go for another minute and it's just like carry on and on. But before you hate on me, it was so like memeable. Me and my friend like started laughing at how it was like such a great way to like analyze a game and just like be a commentator for the game. So I, I've come to actually be a stacks enjoyer, probably S tier for me alongside with Johnny Boy, Jorby and Shogun. It's probably my S tier uh, casters these days. And maybe James bought up there. I don't know. There's so many good uh, Rocket League casters. It's really hard to hate. But we'll, we'll read one more and then I'll give my least favorite thing or biggest pet peeve. This sub acts like Daniel's in an infant, defends him at every corner. There's no issue saying something like Beast Mode is a choker, disappears in big matches. Yet we'll stay silent or even get mad if you bring it up bring up Daniel getting blasted by Beast Mode at Worlds. Okay. I understand this. Some people, it's like the double standard kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> EU versus NA arguments are so childish. That, nah, that's a great thing. I love that shit. Bro, I just, I just love the hate. I love the negativity. I love the passion out of both sides. It's soccer, bro. It's a team. It's competitive. You need people going at it against each other to create a great rivalry, a, gr a great match. I, I think that's what really adds outside elements to the, to the Rocket League pitch. So looking back at this though, uh, with, with the double standard kind of thing, like Daniel can't do no wrong, beast mode chokes though, and, and other players choke. That's a, that's a pretty good pet peeve. It is kind of annoying to see some people like White Knight Daniel, and I believe that's what they're talking about. Like Daniel's definitely had a bad game here and there, and uh, he, he shouldn't be at like, he shouldn't get the mercy that other players get, whatever. My English isn't so good. English is my second language. Daniel Daniel's uh, needs to get shit on. I mean, he's just such a good player, bro. He's such a good player that, I mean, it doesn't have him because he's such a good player. And Beast Mode, Beast Mode has choked before. I've seen it with my own eyes. Daniel, I've seen him play only a handful of bad games. Only a handful, man. Like, he, he is really, he really is like that. But going back to this, what is my greatest pet peeve about Rocket League Esports, aka what do I hate the most about Rocket League Esports? Let me think about this for a minute. I know, I know what it is. One thing I hate the most so friendly, yes. is the bubble scene bitching about not having enough opportunities to make it to the pro league. It, it still blows my mind to this day that people want more and more and more and opportunities to make it big which uh, of course you you always want that. However, I can't believe more people aren't satisfied with what's going on now. Like 
Rocket League gives so many qualifiers, so many chances for you to go pro, so many opportunities. The list goes on and on, like six mans, uh, the qualifiers, the bubble events, the, the, the cash, the prize pools, I feel like are insane. I feel like it's ridiculous. People like don't understand that there is so much to get into the pro scene in this game that it's right in front of them. The problem is you, that you are ass as fuck at the game. And I think that's my greatest pet peeve. It just, it's really not that deep. I don't really hate anything in this game like that much to where it bothers me. So that's why it's kind of hard to think about. But like, if I had to choose something, it'd probably be that. It, it's just kind of funny whenever I see a tweet saying like, ah, oh, there's not a bubble tournament forever and there's no chances for qualifiers. Yes, there is. You, you just gotta win them. Just be better, just be good. I know it's hard, but that's what being a pro is about. It's hard to be a pro it should be difficult to be literally the top 0.0001% in the game. That's what being a pro is. Basketball, football, anything in life, literally anything. You need to be the best of the best. Do not expect it to be easy. Do not expect more than the opportunity you are given. And you, you just, I don't know. Okay, this looks pretty insane. I clicked on this, 360 upvotes, who to root for Rotterdam. We blew up the picture and it looks like it's you, you follow the bubble kind of thing. So let's see how accurate this is. I already have two teams in mind that I would enjoy if it landed on. Uh, so let us begin. Do you want to root for an underdog? No, we'll go no because yes looks pretty limited on this right side. Do you want to root for Europe or North America? We'll go with ENA. Fuck, there's, wait, there's, it doesn't matter. Okay, do you want to root for an underdog? No. Do you want to root for Europe or North America? Doesn't matter. Are you a fan of trash talk? I want to get V1 immediately. Probably who I would have gotten, and that's that's pretty accurate. I do fuck with V1 heavily. Beast Mode's insane. Torment Com, really cool. Uh, I like them. They're, they're probably one of my favorite NA teams, but I was going for G2 on the NA side of things. In EU, I have my team in... Let me, let me see where G2 is real quick. I don't see them anywhere. Do you want to root for an underdog? No. Wait, is G2... G2's not an underdog? I guess they're not anymore. They're like the fifth seed. Do you prefer want to root for a top tier org? Oh, and that's where you get phase liquid in G2. Okay. Defensive, phase, offensive. Do you prefer a team that scores more goals or one that is more mechanical? That's that's actually really good. This, this G2 and Liquid split's really good. My three, the three teams I like the most right now are G2, Liquid, and V1. Oh, but wait, there's V1 here as well. And there's FaZe, okay. There's, there's, there's more than just one team. How is FaZe a defensive team? I think FaZe is a defensive team. I, I don't know statistic wise if they are actually. I, first care of probably leads and goals, some crazy thing like that. But I feel like they are actually a more defensive team, low scoring. They're like they were like a better NRG. I don't know. I'm talking out my ass at this point. Com says V1 told me to keep talking all that shit that I want to. Good. You'll love to see it. Cool interview. Thanks. My pleasure. V1 paying for a trainer and apartments for the boys is so sick. Top class org. That is dope as fuck, bro. That's why I, V1 such a cool org. They got cool players. I love I love V1. I'm a V1 fan. I like them. The true worst thing about Rocket League esports is there isn't enough shit talking. Everybody is too friendly. At the end of the day, it's all love. GG's. I know. I get that. And it can be that way still. But during the game, tweet that you fucking hate each other. Quick chat that you don't like each other. And let us see the quick chat, bro. And then, I don't know. Like, flip off the camera. Do something crazy. Like, I, I just want to see, like, more... I just want to see the world burn, bro. Like, Com is doing such a great job of that. And, like, I guess Arsenal... Arsenal doesn't really shit talk, but, like, he brings the passion. So he does a damn good job, too, with the passion. Just don't be a robot. Show the emotions. Show, like, you actually give a fuck about beating the other team. And you want to win, all right? You're not just playing another day, another dollar, another Rocket League game. Because that's what it seems like lately and a lot of the time. I know it's very hard because it's Rocket League. It's only so different every single game you play, but for for fuck's sake, act like you care. So that's that's the worst thing about Rocket League esports is there's, there's not enough passion and not enough uh, competitive spirit.